Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. We're doing another colouring video today. We're going to be carrying on with Alan Roberts' uh, The Beauty of Horror 2, Guliana's Cryptorium. So as with the Bibliophile Colourist John, uh, for Biblio Horror we are colouring in The Shining Girls. Excuse me, that's my colour chart. With watercolours. And like him, we've done our, our walls. And uh, now he's done, he started doing his floor and he started doing it in green, which is fine. I don't know if he got to the top and he was going to do the ceiling as well. Because um, I haven't watched the whole video yet, so I don't know what he's done. So, I get what you're saying about hotel carpets being green. They can be very green. So I'll probably do the side green and then the rug will be red. I've already decided that. So let's get colouring. I am using my um, other camera today. Uh, it seems to be working at the moment, which is great because I do prefer it for filming the colouring videos. For general vlogging though, it will be better to use, um, if I use my um, new camera, that will be, because, um, and for holidays, just because of carrying it all around. So, I'm just going to do this. And like I said, I don't do watercolours a lot, so I'm enjoying using the watercolours on this. I don't know if I'll watercolour on camera again because it is quite fiddly with this. I'm left-handed. I've got to work out a better way of putting the camera because I've got a massive proper tripod here, not a small one. I do have a smaller one. I just don't know where it is. I've got a gorilla pod. I do want to try and find that for the holiday though. Because when I'm on holiday, I will be vlogging but I might do some colouring videos while I'm out on holiday, you never know. It depends on how much Jennifer wants to sleep because obviously if she's tired and she's having a sleep in the hotel room there's no reason why I can't make a video as long as I'm quiet. Talk quietly and she can sleep because obviously we're not going to leave her on her own when she's asleep one of us will be with her she may not want to have a nap at all I don't know yet so as you will see in the weekly vlog if you are one of the people who actually watches that I know some people do and some people don't and I totally get it. if you do or don't it doesn't bother me as long as you, you know, watch what you want to. Um, the shed is done. And I've put stuff in it. So I'm currently trying to get everything sorted in the spare room. It's going to be so much easier to photograph now because Obviously the boxes were taking up a lot, a lot of space, a lot of space. And um, because of that, I need to, needed to get them out and now it's all out I've got a lot more space in my room which is great um, because I've got a lot more space in my room I can see exactly what sort of stuff I've got to photograph and get listed and I can get that done without really struggling for space. Because I was, I was really struggling for space in there, I'm not going to lie. So it's really nice now to have it all sorted out. So 
So we've um, done that. There's still no news on the car front. Um, the mechanic I get cars from uh, was going to lend me a car, didn't have it insured. And so my insurance company said that I can't insure it because it doesn't belong to me. Uh, so I'm still driving my dad's, which he is, is obviously insured because he's got it insured, fully comp, and I've got mine fully comp. So I've got fully comp insurance, so I'm allowed to drive it because he's got permission. So, However, he has got a uh, car for me that he is currently working on. Where did that? Oh, there it is. Duh. Um, which is a Citroen Picasso. It's just got to be put through its MOT, so unfortunately I won't have it before we go on holiday, so I'm going to have to take my dad's car to the airport because he can't get it MOT'd until Tuesday, and we're going. Um, not Tuesday. He can't get it MOT'd until sometime next sometime when we're on holiday he said he'd get it done it'll be done by the time i get back with any luck i can't even i can't even think what i'm saying now um so he's going to get it mot'd as soon as he can um but i, pro I will probably have to take that that's what i'm trying to say um he's trying to get it done for me to take to the airport but it depends if it fails the mot because you know it might and it needs more work So yeah, no car for a while. Hopefully, it won't take too long to get a new one uh, when it comes. When it, you know, and hopefully I'll be able to drive it, and I won't have any problems with it because it's hard driving a new car. I've only just got used to driving me dad's. So driving another one again is going to be a flipping nightmare. So Jennifer had photographs taken at nursery last week and we had the proofs yesterday or today. Okay. I don't know what I'm saying instead, I don't even know what day it is. Anyway, so we've had the proofs and they're so cute. So we are going to uh, order them because I can give them as Christmas presents to my mum and Paul's mum. Well, my mum and dad and Paul's mum and dad. And then we'll have some over for ourselves, which will be nice. Now I probably put some more green on that because it's not... It's not as thick and dingy as I would like, so it's not too bad though. I mean, considering I've never done watercolours before, I'm quite happy with the way it's turning out. So we're going to do the carpet now. Use this one first. So I'm just going to turn it slightly. So I've got other than this one and if you watch the horror books, the books for Horror Tober, the Dracula book, I've got two other whips on the go. One from Jade Summers haunted house which I've had for two or three years and never coloured in so I'm glad I've started in that one and that's just one for fun just sitting around the house on an evening I've done everything I need to do Jennifer's in bed I'm going to sit and colour something in so then I'm going to sit and do that and then we got I've got one upstairs in the bedroom for when I'm 
if I'm in the afternoon while I'm waiting for Jennifer to go to sleep because she won't sleep if I'm in the room I put her down for a nap I'll leave the room and go and do a bit of colouring for five minutes before I can get on with any jobs and that's from Jade Summer Halloween and that's a cute little witch that is I've only done her hat but it's something I will be carrying on with so but now the um, bedrooms, spare bedroom sorted out and I can actually see what I've got stock wise my plan is to try and get all the stock photographed even if it's not listed it doesn't have to be listed I just want it photographed measured packed and in the, the storage totes so that when I go to my sales sale place I can see, oh, I'll pick up 10 items, right, I can bring them home, I can either get them photographed straight away or do it the next day, but it's so that they're done, excuse me, I just moved, just so that I can get it all done out of the way, so I don't want it to build up like it has I mean at the moment there's still four or five bags of stuff I bought another ten items today £4.50 if you if you watch the weekly vlog you'll see this at some point that I got I, I don't show it but I tell you about it that I got picked up a couple of jackets on Tuesday from the sale for £1.50 each and the one was a Karen Millen and they're both size tens, but it doesn't matter. And the other one was by Jaeger, so for one pound fifty, I, mean, I should probably listen for around twenty quid a piece. But if I only get a tenner, I'm happy. Because <laughs> let's be honest, it's only it hasn't cost me the earth. So, but so. So I'm really enjoying colouring. I'm trying to colour a little bit every day. So. so at the moment we've got lots of whips but nothing is actually completed. Which is, is fine. That is fine. That's how it's going to be while we're having things in different rooms and for different reasons so for instance we're doing this one on camera and then I've got the other two that I'm doing off camera when I feel like it so tomorrow I probably will colour in the Jade Summer Haunted House book maybe in the Halloween book I don't know it really depends after I've done some eBay work so today because we were sorting out the spare room I haven't done anything on eBay today I haven't had a sale either today. It's the first day in a week that I haven't had a sale, but um, that's fine. It, it'll, that will happen from time to time. Um, it will happen, so. We just need to make sure I'll just keep listing. I'm not expecting to make much this month just simply because of um, sorting the room out, going on holiday and stuff like that and, and I need to buy more storage boxes so because of that
is going to put me into a, probably a loss for the month, but that's okay. It's going to happen from time to time. When you invested in the business, you're going to make a loss occasionally. But it, the overall is that I'm in profit for the overall year. So making a loss for one month is not a major issue. I might not make a loss yet. We don't know. I thought that I was going to make a loss when I went on holiday at the end of June, beginning of July, because again, I have to increase my dispatch time to 10 working days. Now, I might be able to change it if I can get on the internet, but I'm going to assume that I can't. And therefore, it may stop sales. So obviously, Monday night, I'm going to put my holiday on. And then on, and I'll also add, I'll extend the dispatch time. We'll expand, extend the dispatch time a little bit. And then it'll be it will be a question to see what happens. I may well get a load of sales. Sometimes some people don't really care as to whether or not things are dispatched immediately. Other people do. I always say that as long as I know when it's being dispatched, it's not gonna bother me if I don't get it for a week as long as they let me know what's going on. I think that's different being older. I'm not one of these people who thinks I've got to have it right this minute. So I'm hoping that we can get a colouring catch-up done pretty much every day. Doing the Shining Girls because that would be really cool if we could do that just to get you know till we finish it obviously and then we'll we'll do something else so I'm not worried about the rug looking patchy because it's an old hotel and the rug would be patchy, it would be mucky, it would be faded in places. And that's the whole point of it. Like I said, I don't have the patience to spend hours and hours and hours on it. I colour for enjoyment and I colour for relaxation. I am never ever going to be a great artist. And that's okay too. Sometimes I want to take longer than others doing things and I want to shade and blend and make things look as nice as possible. And other times I just want to put some colour down and sit and relax, have a, a beer, which I actually left on the coffee table so I'm not drinking it right now. So at the moment you can see it's all very patchy and that's fine, I don't mind that. I haven't finished it yet. Like I said, I might put some ink tents on this afterwards. And then that's the thing with watercolours, you can keep blending it around and moving the water around. So I might put another layer of pencil over that afterwards. It's sort of very orangey. It's not as red as I wanted it. So I think I need to go over it with that deep red that I put there, to be honest. And I'll probably do that um, later. I might do it off camera. So, 
but uh, that's it so far. I'm going to go and put a bit more darker green now over on the... Um, what colour is that? 16. It's blue. It looks more green than blue. This one. 18, yeah. We're just going to... Put a bit more green on here, as you can see. Just make it a little bit darker. So yeah, so I'm hoping to do this um, every other day, get one uploaded every other day. So I'll run out of things to talk about, so but that's okay. I like the way the pencil goes on over the top, even though I'm still using the watercolor pencils. And I will be watercolouring this. pleased with the way this is coming out. I do want the rugged, the rugged dark colour I think and I might even get the ink tents on it actually and just go over it with ink tents to get it the colour I want. I'll just have a quick look at the ink tents colours in a minute. They're only just behind me. old peacock pattern tin and at the moment they're still in a tin because I haven't got a pencil case for them but the tin I've got my case I've got my um what are they called black widows in I'll be taking them out at some point because um Shiraz yeah um because I've got the skin tones and I just need to get the darker tones I'm going to um put the darker tones uh, all the them in a bigger uh pencil case this might completely ruin the page, but you don't know unless you try. So, I'm going to have to stop because my battery's died and I don't think I've got another one handy. Let me just go and see. Okay, sorry about that, just changed the batteries and uh, put that other battery back on charge. So, yeah, I 
don't know if this is going to actually help or ruin the picture, but we'll soon find out. I think we all have ideas of how we want things to look and then they don't turn out that way and we're like, oh, gutted, but you know. Like I said, I've not worked with watercolours before. I've, I mean, I've used the ink tents, but not very much, so. Not as much as I would like to. I actually quite like the way this is colouring out now. It depends what happens when I activate the ink. But it's looking a more more sort of on camera anyway more sort of the color i want so hopefully yeah, it'll be all right but i am enjoying using the watercolors the wx Smith watercolors i'm really pleased with them they lay down really nicely you got some lovely colors it is only a 36 set i would like more but i guess when i get used to blending and mixing it'll probably be all right. So like I said, I'm not that worried. I can remember when I was little colouring. If I went outside the lines, I'd go absolutely crazy and scribble the whole picture out, which was really silly and childish, but then I was a child. Um, Now if I go outside the lines or go over a line, I'm like, ah, oh, don't care, not the end of the world. Perspective. I also know that there is nothing wrong, there is no wrong way of colouring. If you want a straight colour, it's as valid as if you spend hours and hours blending and shading and layering. It's what's right for you. I've been wanting to try watercolours for a while and it's one of the things that I haven't done because I didn't think I'd be able to do it but doing this I can actually see that yeah if I think about it I can. It's not going to be for every picture I do, sorry you're not watching me again, I'm just scribbling off page. It's pretty boring so I'm doing is colouring this huge expanse of carpet with a ink tent pencil. Like I said, we do want it to look kind of patchy and faded because it is an old hotel room. I did go and pick up my drink, by the way. <laughs> um, sorry if you're against alcohol, but I am an old woman. I'm an adult. And if I want to have a drink here and there, I am going to. So I'm just going to... Oh, there, that's much better. That's more like it, and I think that's going to look all right with the watercolour under it as well because it's just going to give us that patchy, faded, worn look. Now, you've got to work quickly with ink tents because it is ink and it will dry very, very quickly. Obviously, you can put stuff over it if you need to. That's why I, I wouldn't want to use ink tents for huge expanses like this normally. It's just simply because it dries quickly and then it does not move again. So obviously with this, we want it to be patchy, so it's not so bad. If it is patchy, because obviously it's an old, faded, haunted hotel. So we're doing it in circles just to try and make it a little bit more even, but it doesn't need to be too even. Like I said, it's supposed to be an old hotel. It still looks really bright and really light here, but that is okay. That could, you know, it's just a faded patch on the rug, on the carpet. Okay. 
it doesn't look as faded in the book, I must admit. But I quite like the way that that has done with that ink tent. It's given it that dirty, grimy and also worn look that I wanted. You know, we're not talking about the Roosevelt in Hollywood here. This is an old... Well, if it was real, it's the Overlook Hotel. Now, I've read The Shining and I've seen the film many, many times. And the book and the film, the original film, are completely different. I do like both of them. We're going to leave it here. But I think the book obviously is the way the story's meant to be and the the book the film doesn't tell you exactly what a shining is i never understood what the shining was until i read the book and i've also read the, the sequel doctor sleep which is really good as well so i think that's about 30 minutes so on the next episode we'll probably tackle the ceiling and maybe the chandelier is going to be interesting to watercolour and that maybe we'll pencil that in and the dresses which are going to be blue, different shades of blue and their bow which will be blue too I don't know about the hair yet and the curtains at the back I'm probably going to do the same sort of red as the runner the carpet runner here and then we'll just do a light colour pink or something in the on the edge in I haven't decided on the doors or the paintings and the light switches yet um, but that is where we are with it so far. So I hope you've enjoyed this um, quick colouring catch up. It's about 30 minutes long, actually it's not that quick. Um, and I'll try and do another one in a couple of days. So you will probably see this on Friday and then another one on Sunday, though I may be filming it on Saturday. I don't know, um, but yes. I hope you've enjoyed this um, colouring video. Yeah, that carpet looks much more how I envisioned it when I decided that's what colour I wanted it. So ink tents fabulous pencils um yeah i hope you've enjoyed this video let me know what you think down below if you've enjoyed it give it a thumbs up don't forget to share it with your friends hopefully they might subscribe as well subscribers are going up so thank you to everybody who subscribed this week um i've been fluctuating around it around the 530 ish mark and it's gone up and down and up and down and it seems to be climbing again so thank you to everybody that subscribed this week let me know what sort of things you want to see on this channel. Do you want to see more um, colouring videos? Do you want to see different pencils? Obviously, I am working on a budget now. I can't afford to buy anything expensive. So what I've got is pretty much what I'm sticking with for the time being. Do you want to see hauls? Do you want to see a complete colouring book collection? I will be doing one at some point. Do you want to see a colouring supplies collection? I can do that too. So let me know. Give it a thumbs up. And don't forget, if you're not already a subscriber, to subscribe. And if you haven't hit the notification bell, hit that notification bell. And of course, it'll tell you every time I upload a video. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye now.